Hi, this is David again. Of course, it's me. Um, I'm just gonna do a review on how to do maintenance on a pellet gun, especially Daisy revolvers. Okay, here we go. If you ever, well, this is Davy Daisy um, 38 caliber. Well, it's a replica of the 38 caliber. It's a Daisy 177 caliber. Well, it's 177 thousandths of an inch. That's what it takes. You can put hollow points in it, pointed, anything. Um, everything's pretty much either steel or brass. Like, screws, like there's a screw there. The hammer's brass. That little pin right there is brass. The trigger is brass. But the barrel does not spin. It's just single shot. You feed it through it. Okay, let's get to the maintenance. If you ever have a jam, you can spray. No, I don't recommend spraying WD. Why? I just say it. Okay. Right here, there's a little switch. You push that forward all the way to the end there. Let go. I should clean out the BB if it gets jammed or stuck or something. Um, if you have a real problem, you can always buy an um, jam stick or just take a pipe cleaner and putting it right through the spring it should take it out immediately if it does not work I recommend either taking unscrewing the barrel and yep. if the trigger gets stuck you should take off the handle and just lube that up I, re I recommend lubing any pellet gun trigger up because it tends to get fired a lot every five times of use. I've read this on yahooanswers.com or Yahoo Answers, whatever. And, yep. So that's about it. I'll pick this up for you if you so you can see it. So this is the gun. Single shot. You got the post here on the end. I just, I'm not trying to do the review. And as I said, you ever get a jam, push it all the way to the end, push it down, it should be stuck there, and it'll go back. It, the pellet will push out through this little hole in there. Um, I recommend this, I actually don't recommend this for the field, I recommend this for hunting smaller animals, squirrel, bird, yeah, if your handle ever gets greasy just take a wet like a moist towel i mean it's it's glossed wood so it won't ruin it you can just dab it on there and dry it off after it should be clean um you should always check the screws in there make sure they're tight so it won't be wobbly like right around here you don't want it to be wobbly in there you won't have a um, accurate shot you see the picture of the pellet here it's just showing you where it gets fed back into the chamber um yep that's about it oh when you have it, the pellet in there you do this pull it back but oh if if the hammer ever gets stuck i recommend lubing this up it's like a little spring mechanism and the puller the spring puller there is a spring in there but that you can leave. At least you'll you would loop this. If it gets a little rusted, it's no big deal. You can leave. It's not good to dry far, so just go like that. So you can see a little spring in there. I, you know, if you just take um any oil, like from the trumpet oil, any instrumental brass oil, would be good. Do not use WD forty. I repeat, do not use it. Um, I read a chemical mixed in is not good. The material made from the spring and the brass bar. I don't think it's brass. It might be a steel bar. Um, there is an extra little cleaning tube in here. You can pull that out, and it should have a little stick in there to jam, put in there, and it should jam out any other pellet stuck. Um see what else there is no safety on this gun 
really nothing else to clean. Just wanted to check the screws once in a while, tighten them, especially this screw right here. It, the screw, there's one on each side. It takes the barrel off. Sorry if it's not coming through clear, but it takes the barrel off if you have a bad jam. Um, yeah, might want to make sure there's tight so you got no wobble. Um, pretty much that's about it. I just, when you fire it, make sure it's lubed up because you can lube, lube it up five, about every five times of use. Not every five times, like every other five. So you, the spring can pull back a easier. Mine's a little off, but see it's stuck a little bit. I'm gonna lube that, but it does go back. It's hard to pull back. I, I recommend the best daisy out there would be this one, but they don't sell these anymore, so it's an antique daisy. And they sell Daisy Pumpmaster, Daisy Powerline, Daisy 80, a, um, which Ghost to Crips had one of his videos up. So, this is about it. Hollow points would actually, hollow, and also, hollow point 177 calibers are actually pretty good in this gun. It's a little lightweight pellet. Actually, yes, um, smaller, lightweight. So, thank you for watching the maintenance video slash review of the Daisy. Thank you. Um, I'm out. Rate, subscribe, comment. Thanks. Bye.